There is no reason to travel to Hawaii now. Visit another time. Did you book a vacation to Hawaii? You may want to urgently reconsider. Elizabeth H.R., M.D., took over leadership of the Hawaii Department of Health on September 16, 2020, after being appointed by Hawaii Governor David Ige. In a press conference today with Hawaii Governor Ige, she urged the people in Hawaii and visitors to stay home and not travel at this time. Today, 1,167 additional infections in the state of Hawaii was reported, more than double of the highest number ever recorded since the outbreak of the virus. The spread of the virus won't change until we change, a very nervous Elizabeth Char told journalists at a press conference called for by Hawaii Governor Ige this morning. In the latest COVID-19 report from the government of the Aloha State, there are 1,167 new COVID cases, bringing the total cases to date to 49,564. Of those 2,971 required hospitalization. While hospital space is still available, the developing spiral effect by the community spread of the COVID-19 Delta variant takes the breath away not only for sick people but for everyone in the community. When this publication warned visitors that new restrictions will be in place, little did we know how bad it would get within four short days. Please do the right thing and travel to Hawaii another time. E-Turbo News reader, Ms. J, posted a comment to this publication saying, I wouldn't recommend coming to Hawaii at this time. Regardless of whatever restrictions are here in two weeks, do you really want to chance having a medical emergency and hope that some poor nurse or doctor who is working their double or triple shift will have time to give you adequate treatment? Things are always crowded when we have high tourist numbers. It can be a real challenge getting into a restaurant allowed 50% occupancy. Residents may or may not act nicely to your face but when our children are being hospitalized, the vast majority of us do not want you here taking up our medical resources. I know your trip has been paid for, but most airlines are being pretty flexible presently and at least willing to give you future credit. As to your accommodations, you can explain that you are trying to do the right thing by not wanting to tax our resources and see what happens. Please do the right thing and come another time. Governor Ige got it wrong when he said re-implementing more restrictions is not yet on the plate. Apparently, economic reasons take priority, like they do in Florida, Texas, Louisiana, and many other U.S. states. Currently, 77.98% of all U.S. counties, which is a total of 2,511 counties, are recording the highest number and percentage of community spread of this deadly virus, with more than 10% of new cases per 100,000 population. Many say Hawaii cannot afford another shutdown of its tourism economy. Even though restrictions in place include mask wearing, 50% occupancy levels in restaurants, and limits for shops there are all just symbolic. Last year, an increase of just 100 COVID cases a day triggered statewide curfews and complete lockdowns with hotels, shops, and restaurants closed. Like always, the Hawaii Tourism Authority remains quiet and is not responding to citizens, visitors, and journalists. Today's 1,167 new cases are overstepping a red line for residents, but who is listening? 61.2% of the total population has been fully vaccinated. The total cases reported in the past 14 days was 7,327. Total deaths to date are 547. We are now preparing for a hurricane in COVID cases, the Hawaii governor said today. Known as a governor who is always calm, he was visibly shaken at today's press conference. In response to an 8P reporter, the governor reasoned only 2% of the new cases are among visitors. Visitors must have negative tests or vaccination papers. Those with vaccination papers may be positive and contagious, but this would never be known. The governor said the overwhelming danger is the community's spread of the virus. One person can give it to 1,000 others. The governor and the director of health for the state believe the virus is in the community, not admitting tourists are in the same communities. In his own world, Hawaii leaders believe tourists frequent their own areas on the islands, frequent different restaurants and beaches. This is very much ignorant and very far from the truth. On small islands like Hawaii everyone mingles with everyone, tourists are everywhere, and Waikiki or Lahaina are not isolated walled-in zones. Dr. Char was correct when saying that there is no reason for anyone to travel at this time. She added, you never know who you sit next to on a plane. Take precautions when in Hawaii.